Two centuries ago, bison roamed the prairie in Oklahoma, but by the mid-1800s, bison were almost eliminated because of commercial hunting and slaughter, as well as the introduction of diseases from cattle. Today, bison are no longer in danger of extinction, due in part to places like Oklahoma's tall grass prairie preserve near Pawhuska. A growing herd roams the land, their freedom disrupted only one day a year for the annual bison roundup, which just concluded. When visiting the tall grass prairie preserve in the Osage Hills near Pawhuska, you might see part of the bison herd grazing the land, or you might not. That's because the bison aren't restricted to a certain area. They're free to roam just as their ancestors did hundreds of years ago. So this is a rare sight. During the annual roundup, all bison on the 24,000 acres are coaxed to this one pasture. Mike Fuhr is the state director of the Nature Conservancy, which oversees the preserve. So what we do is we don't try and push them. We actually coax them in with uh, cattle cubes. Uh, they really like the cattle cubes. They learn really quickly that when the siren on the truck goes off, that they come running for the food. And so over the course of several weeks, what we do is we slowly pull them in to this about 200 acre pasture right here where they are ready to go. The reason for the roundup is to get a count of the herd, give the bison vaccinations, and get DNA samples. Pulling tail hairs from each animal each year and doing a genetic analysis on those to look at mitochondrial DNA so that we know which ones have cattle genes. The ones that did are the ones that were included in the animals that we sold. We'll never get a pure herd, but we would like it to be as pure as possible so that the bison do what they're supposed to do and can survive in sometimes some pretty harsh conditions out on the prairie. Achieving those tasks is a well-orchestrated undertaking. A noisy truck herds the bison into a corral system. Hey, hey, hey. Then the animals are prodded into chutes. The process is stressful for the animals, so much care must be taken to ensure their safety and the safety of the ranch hands dealing with the massive and sometimes angry bison. Full-grown bulls stand about six and a half feet at the shoulder and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. They are the largest native animals on the North American continent. Because of the critical nature of the process, a select few people are invited as guests. I haven't been to the Buffalo uh, Roundup since the original release 20 years ago, so this is really a lot of fun for me. David Whitehill's grandparents owned this land until it was sold to the Nature Conservancy. He has fond memories of working here as a young man. I would ride the fence, repairing the fence, and the train would come by with a, a cattle in it, a uh, hundred cars worth of cattle, and I would wave to the to the engineer and he would blow his whistle and fun things like that. This land, much of it could have been farmed. Luckily for us, it was settled by ranchers. And luckily for us, it was owned by the Chapman and Barnard families. They were excellent caretakers of the prairie. Harvey Payne was the director of the Tallgrass Prairie Preserve for 18 years. He was here when the first 300 bison were introduced in 1993. Now, 20 years later, approximately 2,700 make up the bison herd. After the completion of this year's count, several hundred bison will be sold to maintain optimal herd size for the restored ecosystem. But the last bison anywhere in Tallgrass Prairie was killed about 1851 in northern Osage County. So as an ecosystem, it ceased to function with white settlement and fire suppression, with fuel removal, with cattle grazing, and with the extirpation of the bison on the prairie. The reintroduction of the bison, coupled with controlled burns, has once again made the prairie very fertile, and so are the animals. Since last year, more than 600 calves have been born. During the roundup, the mothers and calves typically get separated from each other, but once they have been released from the corral system, they eventually find each other by these sounds. That grunting, uh, they obviously know each other by the sounds and smells, and once the roundup process is done, the mom and the calf are reunited. So it's just, it's amazing what nature can do. 
And so the cycle of life continues for the animals and the renewed ecosystem, a place where 750 plant, 300 bird, and 80 mammal species have made their home.